Hi friends, welcome to the channel The Nurse. Here we are discussing about military nursing service, previous biology questions and answers. Biology subject is very uh, tough actually after long time I am uh, again reviewing the biology questions. So if any mistakes happens means please uh, cooperate or uh, please uh, adjust with me and we will go to our topic MNS biology previous questions and answers. If you are not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe our, our channel, The Nurse. And uh, you can share uh, this uh, channel with your friends also. We are moving to topic MNS Biology Previous Questions and Answers. First question Pollen kit helps in the Pollen kit helps in the Nutrition of pollen Nutrition of insects Formation of pollen Sticking to the body of insects. Pollen kit helps in the. Correct answer here. Pollen kit helps in the sticking to the body of insects. Because it helps uh, to pollinate. So that is why the uh, poll pollen kit it is an oily substance. So it stick into the uh, body of insects. Then it will transfer to another flower. So it will help in the uh, process of pollination. Pollen kit is an oily and sticky layer found in, on the surface of the matured pollen grains in the insect pollinated plants. Pollen kit is an oily and sticky layer found on the surface of the matured pollen grains in the insect po pollinated plants. It consists of lipid and carotenoids and is formed by tapetum. Pollen kit, uh, it, uh, I told it is an oily substance. It is consists of lipid and carotenoids and is formed by tapetum. Pollen kit is a protective envelope and adhering agent and helps in pollination. So that is a main function. It helps in the pollination. It helps to transfer the pollen grains into one flower to another flower. Next question. What is the function of tapetum in a developing anther? What is the function of tapetum in the in a developing anther? To obtain food material from the microspores, to digest the microspores, to provide food material to the developing microsporocytes, to give protection to the inner tissues. Correct answer. To provide material to the developing microsporocytes. The main function of the tapetum in developing anther that is to provide food material to the developing microsporocytes. The, uh, here it is an explanation. So this is the anther. So this is a uh, anther and a divided part. So, tapetum is the one of the layer inside the fibrous layer. Tapetum is the inside layer of fibrous layer. The tapetum is a specialized layer of nutritive cells found within the anther of flowering plants where it is located between the sporangineous tissue and the anther board. Tapetum is important for the nutrition and development of pollen grains as well as source of precursors for the pollen coat. Next question. In a plant growing under dark condition, the leaves turn light color, internodes becomes much elongated and it is termed as. In a plant growing under dark condition, the leaves turn light colored, internodes becomes much elongated and it is termed as chlorosis, vernalization, etiolation, philotaxy. Correct answer, etiolation. In a plant growing under dark condition, the leaves turn light colored, internodes becomes much elongated and it is termed as etiolation. Etiolation is a process in which stems of the plants grow grown in dark 
elongate much more rapidly than normal causing the plant to grow whiten or grow pale etiolation is a process in which stems of the plants grown in dark elongate much more rapidly than normal causing the plant to grow whiten or grow pale same time chlorosis is the loss of green color of the plants due to the iron deficiency or lack of light like anemia in uh, humans chlorosis is the loss of green color of plants due to the iron deficiency or lack of light fourth question the term homeostasis is an ex is an ecosystem refers to the term homeostasis in an ecosystem refers to feedback mechanism self regulatory mechanism influence of production state of equilibrium homeostasis homeostasis in ecosystem refers to feedback mechanism homeostasis homeostasis is the ability of eco, uh, ecological system to maintain stable system properties despite perturbations homeostasis is the ability to ability of eco, uh, ecological system to maintain stable system properties despite perturbations the plants constitute next question the plants constitutes the first trophic level second trophic level third trophic level or fourth trophic level mainly uh, the ecosystem is uh, divided into food system is divided into uh, product producers uh, consumers and decomposers in that plants constitute correct answer first trophic level the plants constitute the first trophic level a food chain in is series of plants or animal which are interrelated in the form of organism being eaten as food by other a food chain is a series of plants animal which are interrelated in the form of organism being eaten as food by the other trophic levels in a food chain are formed by producers consumers and decomposers in the question uh, uh, the plants in uh, in the question it is asked that plants belongs to which trophic level so in trophic level plants belongs to the producers that is first trophic level in the given food chain green plants are producers they constitute the first trophic level the animal eating plants are called primary consumers so that uh, these are the difference in food chain there are producers consumers and decomposers in in that plants belongs to first trophic level they are as a producers next question biome refers to biome refers to the part of the earth and its atmosphere which inhabits living organisms a community of organisms interacting with one another the flora flora on land the flora in an ocean biome refers to correct answer option a that is the part of the earth and its it its atmosphere which inhabits living organisms biome refers to the part of earth and its atmosphere which inhabits living organisms that is the part of the earth where living organisms are there biome means in simply the part of the earth where living organisms are there biome is defined as the community of various plants and animals that inhabit the particular type of geographic region of earth biomes biomes are often defined by their climate rainfall water characteristics elevation and plant characteristics that is leaf type spacing etc seventh question maximum energy amongst ecosystem is contributed by the maximum energy amongst ecosystem is contributed by crops forests coral fuel gas it is a tricky question the correct answer is coral 
the maximum energy amongst ecosystem is contributed by coral. The largest source of energy for an ecosystem is the sun. Maximum energy amongst the ecosystem is contributed by the corals. Corals are marine invert invertebrates. They are primary consumers in a marine ecosystem and so as they get direct energy from the producers. Corals are marine invertebrates. They are primary consumers in a marine ecosystem and so as they get direct energy from the producers. Eighth question. The restrictions and enzymes are also called. The restriction and enzymes are also called. Molecular markers, molecular scissors, vectors, carriers. Restriction and enzymes are also called. Correct answer, molecular scissors. Restriction and enzymes are also called molecular scissors. Next, uh, restriction and enzymes are also called molecular scissors as they cleave DNA at or near specific recognition sequences known as restriction site. Restriction and enzymes are also called molecular scissors as they cleave DNA at or near specific recognition sequences known as restriction sites. These enzymes makes one incision on each of the two strands of DNA and are also called restriction endonucleases. These enzymes make one incision on each, each of two strands of DNA and are also called restriction endonucleases. Ninth question. Polymerase chain reaction employs. Polymerase chain reaction or PCR employs. Primers and DNA ligase. Primers and DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase only. DNA ligase only. Correct answer option B that is primers and DNA polymerase. Pri Polymerase chain reaction or PCR employs primers and DNA polymerase. Tenth question. Bt toxin is coded by a gene named as. Bt toxin is coded by a gene named as. Cry, Bty, Tby, Dty. Correct answer option A. Cry. Bt toxin is coded by a gene named as CRY or CRY. Bt stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. It is a soil bacterium which contains a toxic gene called Bt gene or CRY or CRY. Bt cotton crop is resistant to ball worm due to presence of CRY gene in its genome. It produces toxin that kills ball worm. Thus, the correct answer is CRY or CRY gene. 11th question. Which of the following is not a gastrointestinal hormone? Which of the following is not a gastrointestinal hormone? Gastrin, secretin, cholecystokine, cortisol. It is an easy question. Correct answer is cortisol. Cortisol is produced by adrenal cortex. All other uh, hormones are produced by GI tract and cortisol produced by adrenal cortex. Activity of digestive tract are coordinated by nervous and endocrine system. Important hormones of elementary canal are gastrin, motilin, cholecystokinin, secretin, endrogastron, diocrinin, endro endocrinin, villicrinin and gastric inhibitory peptide. Cortison is a steroid hormone. It is released by adrenal glands. Twelfth question. All enzymes are proteins except. All of the following except, uh, enzymes are proteins except. Ribozymes, kinase, dehydrogenase, transaminase. Correct answer is ribozymes. 
ribosomes are not proteins. Ribosomes are RNA molecules that have the ability to catalyze specific biochemical reactions including RNA splicing in gene expression similar to the action of protein enzymes. 13th question. The enzymes that catalyze the removal of groups from substances by a mechanism other than hydrolysis leaving double bond is called oxidoreductases, transferases, lyases, ligases. Enzymes that catalyze the removal of groups from substances by a mechanism other than hydrolysis leaving double bond is called. Correct answer is lyases. 14th question. Klinefelter syndrome has a sex chromosome com complement of. Klinefelter syndrome has a sex, uh, sex chromosome complement of. XY, XYY, XXY, XO. Correct answer is XXY. Klinefelter syndrome is not inherited by but rather occurs only as a result of random genetic error after the conception. Klinefelter syndrome is not inherited but rather occurs only as a result of any random genetic error after the conception. 15th question. In which region of the interface chromosomes does not does transcription takes place? In which region of the interface chromosome does transcription, uh, transcription take place? Heterochromatin, euchromatin, the telomere, telomere, the centromere. Correct answer, euchromatin. Euchromatin. Uh, where the interface uh, chromosomes does transcription. Uh, I will explain it. During the interface stage of cell division, the chromatin fibers in the nucleus is least condensed and appear loosely distributed throughout the nucleus. During the interface stage of cell division, this is the uh, interface stage of cell division in that uh, again, it is divided into uh, uh, several steps. During the interface stage of cell division, the chromatin fibers in the nucleus is least condensed and appear loosely distributed throughout the nucleus. Euchromatin is the lightly stained region of the chromatin and contains relatively more DNA. Euchromatin is the lightly stained region of the chromatin and contains relatively more DNA. 16th question. The progesterone is secreted by the progesterone is secreted by graphene follicles, corpus luteum, interstitial cells, corpus albicans. Correct answer. Corpus luteum. The progesterone is secreted by corpus luteum. Progesterone is an endogenous steroid hormone that is commonly produced by adrenal cortex as well as the gonads which consists of ovaries and testes. Progesterone is an endogenous steroid hormone that is commonly produced by adrenal cortex as well as the gonads, which consists of ovaries and testes. Progesterone is also secreted by the ovarian corpus luteum during the first 10 weeks of pregnancy, followed by the placenta in the later phase of pregnancy. Progesterone also secreted by the corpus luteum during the first 10 weeks of pregnancy, followed by the placenta in the later phase of pregnancy. 17th question, which of the following is the connective tissues? Which of the following is the connective tissues? Ne neurons, nephrons, blood, islets of Langerhans. Correct answer, blood. Connective tissue is made up of cells, fibers and gel-like substances. Types of connective, connective tissue includes bone, cartilage, fat, blood and lymphatic tissues. Types of connective tissue includes bone, cartilage, 
fat, blood and lymphatic tissues. Next question, which of the following is an example of highly repetitive DNA? Which of the following is an example of highly repetitive DNA? Alu element, histone gene cluster, DNA mini satellite, dispersed repetitive DNA. Little tougher question. Correct answer is DNA mini satellite. Example of highly repetitive DNA that is DNA mini satellite. The most abandoned mobile elements in a mammal are moderately repeated DNA sequences which forms two classes that is lines. Lines means long interspersed elements and the second one is signs. Sign means short interspersed elements. Signs constitute some 13 percentage of human genome. Most abundant signs are ALU elements. So named because most of the most of them contain a single recognition site for the restriction enzymes ALU1. ALU elements are scattered throughout the human genome at sites where their insertion has not disrupted gene expression like between genes within the introns etc. Nineteenth question. Saheli and oral contraceptives for female was developed by. Saheli an oral contraceptive for females was developed by. Ames Delhi, IICB Kolkata, CDRI Lekno, SGPGI Lekno. Correct answer is option C that is CDRI Lekno. Saheli was developed by Central Drug Research Center or CDRI Lekno. Last question, a pair of male genital pores in earthworm is present on the ventrolateral side of the, a pair of male genital pores in the earthworm is present on the ventrolateral sides of the, 14th segment, 18th segment, 10th segment, 15th segment. Correct answer, 18th segment. A pair of male genital pores is present on the ventrolateral sides of the 18th segment of the earthworm. So that is about today's video. Uh, it, I know it is a tough uh, topic or uh, it, it is actually uh, for me also it is uh, I felt a little tougher. So if you need more clarification means please comment in comment section. I will try to clarify it. So best wishes those who are uh, practicing, those who are planning to attend um, MNS Military Nursing Service exam, upcoming exam. So thank you. So tomorrow we will come with another video. Uh, so till then stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to share with your friends.